Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing something a bit different. I have two eyelash types here. False eyelashes, obviously. And we're going to try to test them out today. Disclaimer, I think I've put lashes on like once before in my entire life. So this should be quite funny. Um, but I thought these two products were really interesting. So the first one I have here is by Ardell and these are magnetic accent lashes. So like this is actually one pair of lashes um, and you can see their accents. So you just put them on the outer corner of your eye, which is kind of the look that I prefer anyway. Yeah. I have no idea what this is going to do. I think I saw Kathleen Lights do a video on these and it looked like pretty easy for her. So, <laughs> but she also puts makeup on like every day for a living. So yeah, I don't know. This could be kind of funny. So this says magnetic accents, easy to apply, no adhesive needed and reusable. So. The reason I was drawn to these is because you don't need any glue, um, which I like. And it says curve band for a perfect fit. So this should be pretty easy as far as the packaging is saying, but we shall test this out. So there is some instructions here. It says gently remove upper magnetic lash from tray and lay on top of your natural lash line. Okay, then number two, gently remove under magnetic lash from tray and place beneath your natural lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. Right, because that's how a magnet works. So I'm going to open this. By the way, I found these at Walmart. You can get them in drugstores, but um, I think they're like 20 bucks at the drugstore and at Walmart they were 16 so I finally caved and got them. I just have to open this packaging. So they look like this. They look nice and long. And I like when eyelashes are like different lengths because I think that makes them look more natural. But like I said, I've worn lashes like once before in my whole life and it was like for Halloween. So <laughs> we'll see. So it said remove the upper lash from the tray. Ooh, it's, okay, I already lost one of the eyelashes. If you can see, it's stuck there. Well, okay. You want to put this on the outer corner and it said just place on top oh by the way I already have mascara on so it doesn't say like if you should have it doesn't say anything about mascara actually um but I've seen on YouTube people do both they do they do both or do they put mascara on after I don't know but putting mascara on after seems weird because then you get wet mascara all over your lash so that's why I didn't want to do that so I put this on top of my lash line I think that's where it should go I mean you don't want it to stick out of course oh dear no I dropped it Yeah, maybe putting mascara on was not a good idea because it's like getting stuck in the mascara. Okay, I think that's where I want it to be. And then take the lower one. Oh dear, oh dear. That was the wrong side. Yeah, so be very gentle when you rip them out. <laughs> And then you're just supposed to put this underneath the same way and it should magnetize. Oh my god. K, 
Okay, but this really depends on the fact that you put this exactly where you should have, which I don't think I did. Maybe I need tweezers. Just to make sure it's like placed down properly. Oh, <laughs> no, that was dumb. It's magnetic, so they just stuck to the tweezers. Duh, okay. Learned that lesson. I don't know, guys. This is not easy. Okay, I put that back. And now, let's see. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what happened. That does not look good at all. <laughs> uh, it did magnetize, but not where I wanted it to. Well, it just came right off in one piece. Should we try it again? Now I don't know which one was the upper and which was the lower. Okay, but it's the one, like the upper, the magnet is on the bottom, obviously. So, okay, let's try it again. So you gotta put this like right at your, the root of your lash or else it's not gonna work. And the bottom you pretty much have no control over because it just snaps right onto it. Okay, one. Okay. No. <laughs> I hate it. That looks ridiculous. Because it's really obvious that this is like my natural lash and then this is where the fake one is. Okay, well, that was a fun experiment. And I could have put it more, even more outward. I'm going to try it one more time. I mean, on the plus side, they are really easy to take off because it just comes off in one piece and there's no glue or anything. No, that looks ridiculous. So I think these are going to take some practice. <laughs> I don't know how, like, I mean, once it's on, it feels fine like it's not heavy which i thought it might be like because there's magnets on it you would think it'd be heavy but it's it feels like pretty lightweight um the only thing is i can't get it where i want it to go and i can't use tweezers because they will magnetize to the tweezers so i think i'm gonna go back <laughs> and watch that uh, kathleen lights video because i'm pretty sure she like found a way to work these so I guess that I'll leave that for now but yeah if you want to try these yourself these were the Ardell professional magnetic accents apparently they are new the other lashes I have here is this um, kit by Velour these are well this is called the effortless kit um, these are supposedly no trim lashes. So it comes with a lash applicator and lash glue and the lashes here. So the same kind of idea. These are no trim so they're meant like you could just put them from like the middle to the outer corner. They're not full length lashes which I like because Again, I don't have any experience, if any, um, of applying lashes, so this looked like it'd be a good option for me. So there is directions on the back here. It says, introducing the effortless collection by Velour, our most easygoing lashes ever. We shall see. Um, apply lash adhesive. Wait 30 seconds for glue to get tacky. Then apply lash to natural lash line 
and then you're done. No measuring, no trimming, no eyeliner, no drama. Now it's effortless to achieve flawless natural lashes. And this is the style Would I Lie. But I'm pretty sure this kit only comes like this. Like there's no other different style of lashes. Um, yeah, and there are silk lashes. And the glue is latex free, which is good because latex can irritate the eyes. So we'll just get to it. Let's see. I was expecting this lash applicator to not be this tiny. It's really small. You can see it's like a mini. And yeah. There's like a plastic thing on the end. Well, it feels okay. So the thing with this is obviously it's better than um, tweezers because it has a long edge and it's not as sharp. So you hold the lashes with this and that's how you apply them. So I'm going to get one of them out. It already feels like sticky. Ooh, it feels really soft though. So they look like this. Um, I don't have experience with lashes like I've said a million times already. So I don't know if this is like a thin or a thick band. But to me it feels kind of stiff. So we'll see. And this is the glue. It's a brush tip I believe. Yeah tiny brush tip like this it doesn't really smell like anything so you just brush the band with the glue this is clear glue I believe it's a bit white but not really so it's hard to see where you're putting it <laughs> and then it said wait 30 seconds I think a mistake a lot of people make if they're not familiar with putting lashes on is they put the glue on and then they put it on right away but actually when the glue is too wet it's not going to stick down it's just going to slide around so that's why you're supposed to wait um, for it to get tacky before you put them on so let's just wait 30 seconds okay so I grab them with the applicator like this on the end here and supposedly you just press them down to your natural lash line I hope I get this <laughs> in camera these are longer than I thought they were or is it me that has a small eye? I don't think so. I think... Okay. I kind of got that where I should have. And then you can use the tool to press them down. I don't know if I put enough glue on there because they kind of look like they're just sitting on top and not sticking down oh and they came right off um because they stuck to this thing okay yeah maybe it was a really bad idea to do this when I already had mascara on. I'm gonna try it again with some more glue. If you can see, like, now the glue is less clear. It's kinda like blue. Yeah, it didn't really look like that before, so I think I didn't put enough on. So let's try this again. Wait 30 seconds. Okay, let's try this again. It's 
See, like, the glue just sticks to this thing. So what is the point of it? Okay, maybe the trick is you should place it down with your finger. And once it's like pretty much stuck there, then you can use this to really like get it on your lashes. Actually in the, in the picture, they're not even using this tool. <laughs> She's just using her fingers, so yeah. I think I could have got it closer to my the root of my lash, but it looks pretty okay, I guess. I don't know if I like... Do I like these? <laughs> They kind of look too black and full. Like, look at this eye, where it's just mascara, and then this eye looks like very heavy. I don't know. I'm gonna put the other side on off camera, because now I guess we got the full picture. And I will show you what it looks like with both of them on. So far, this is not effortless. I mean, maybe if you're a makeup artist or someone that puts lashes on, like, every day, it would be effortless. But for someone who is doing this for, like, the second time in their life, it's not, it's not effortless. I feel like for them being no-trim lashes, they're pretty long. Like, I almost have to put it... It's like where my whole eyelash line is, you know? Whereas I thought more, like, no trim and they were, like, these accent lashes. Like, you just put them more on the end. But I'm having to put these along my whole lash line, pretty much. Because if I don't, they'll stick out too much on the end. That's not even sticking on. <laughs> I don't like these. They also feel like heavy. Like I don't know how these feel heavier than magnetic ones. But like what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. They're not even on right. Well, I think what we discovered from this video is that I need more practice with <laughs> false lashes. Um, and yeah, this is not effortless, at least not for beginners. Um, but I will keep trying and I should definitely try without mascara. That might be the reason this whole thing was ruined and in that case it's all my fault. So. I guess we'll see and I'll keep you updated but I thought it would just be a fun video to see like how much of a fail this would be because I did think like it was gonna be pretty bad but I could have been pleasantly surprised but I kind of wasn't so yeah I hope you liked it anyway and maybe at least you were entertained and if you like this video give it a like and subscribe I promise I don't do <laughs> I promise I know more what do I promise I promise I'm not like this bad at makeup normally <laughs> um yeah so subscribe if you want to see better videos and I'll see you in the next one bye